Hello everyone and welcome to our 22 minute webinar today, SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D for Mechanical Design. My name is Amy Green and I will be your host. A couple of notes before we begin. We will, will be showing two demonstrations today during today's webinar. Uh, there, will, or there may be a delay when we shift to those demos, especially if you are viewing through Internet Explorer. You may need to refresh your browser if you see a black screen, so please be patient uh, and you can try hitting F5 to refresh your screen. Uh, if you are viewing through a mobile device, you may not be able to view the demos as ON24 uses Flash to view the video content. Uh, in addition, you will see a number of widgets across the bottom of your console uh, for help, Q&A to contact us, uh, download the presentation slides, uh, as well as information at SolidWorks.com. Please use the, Q use the QA box on the left-hand part of your screen to ask questions throughout the presentation. Uh, we will re be responding to these through the portal uh, and we'll have an in-depth QA session at the end with our experts today, Lou Feinstein and Sylvain Trudeau. Uh, finally, we do keep this uh, webinar interactive, so we will be having polling questions during the presentation where you can select for multiple choice answers within the slide view. Uh, so please go ahead and answer quickly. We will share the results with you. Uh, now I'd like to introduce today's presenter, Lou Feinstein. Lou joined DS SolidWorks as the product manager for SolidWorks Electrical, infusing electrical DNA into SolidWorks Mechanical CAD. He is a former engineering manager in industry and holds a BSEE. Over the course of his career, Lou has worked within a variety of industries, including communications, data storage, aerospace, and defense. He holds various patents relating to electrical and electromechanical designs, uh, assembly, and fabrication. Welcome, Lou, and thank you for joining us today. Hello, and thank you for taking time today to attend this webinar. Once again, my name is Louis Feinstein, and I am the product manager for SolidWorks, SolidWorks Electrical Products. Along with me today is, uh, is Sylvain, who will be uh, entertaining you on with the, your questions via his keyboard. This webinar will, will present a mechanical engineer's view of some typical issues addressed by the use of electrical 3D technology. What do we mean by real-time integration of schematics into 3D CAD? Well, we have the electrical or the, lo the logical design of the system, the mechanical or the physical design of the system, when we integrate them together, creating electrical 3D, which creates a synchronized electromechanical design platform. What is electrical 3D? SOLIDWORKS has created a new design paradigm mixing electrical and mechanical design within the 3D modeling environment. This enables traditionally diametrically opposed design disciplines to work together in a collaborative environment, merging logical and physical design development. This forms the foundation for harmonizing product life cycles between electrical and mechanical product development, simulation and product assurance, data and change management, and manufacturing and supply chain operations. Great, so we have our first poll question for you guys. Please go ahead and answer in the pop-up window. Uh, when, you're, when do you uh, integrate your electrical subsystems into your mechanical designs? Are they planned from the design conception? Are they included after the mechanical design is complete? On the shop floor after the mechanical is complete? Or as an afterthought? You know, we have some experience in the industry that often these uh, electrical subsystems are a separate process that gets added as an afterthought or sometimes on the shop floor if you're lucky. Um, but we'd like to hear what you have to say and see what your results are. Why is this such a big issue, Lou, if we have the electrical subsystems only being added on the shop floor or after? Well, it drives a, a lot of rework and uh, redesign work um, if, for, if the integration does not go smoothly or we have surprises where things do not fit up correctly. So you, you see a kind of a mixed message uh, between organizations that we've seen. We either see that they do pre-planning or they don't do anything at all. There's really no in-between. So we have for here. Great. So it looks like we have a pretty good distribution uh, and a, a larger percentage of you than expected actually plan from the beginning, uh, which is great. Well, a traditional challenge uh, in the development of complex systems is the integration planning of subsystems into products. To achieve simplification, SolarWorks Electrical uses an easy-to-use graphical tools to illustrate the relationship between systems and subsystem components. 
The use of traditional electrical routing techniques based primarily on connection tables is simplified through the use of schematics, eliminating connection tables and their associated complexities and errors. Electrical 3D technology allows for the automation of association of paths and routes within the system design while avoiding clashes between embedded subsystems such as electrical subsystems, tubes, pipes, and conduits. Other benefits of the electrical 3D include uni unified comprehensive design bill of material and the creation of a data-rich 3D CAD model that is ready for simulation through such products as FlowSim. The results of this design process is a product that is easily and consistently assembled and manufactured. So now we have our second poll question for you. Uh, how many times is your mechanical design reworked to accommodate the electrical subsystems? Zero, one, two, more than two, or you have no idea? You know, again, this gets back to the issue of, you know, mechanical teams being separate from the electrical engineering and making sure that they, when you are designing a, a single product, that you're working together and bringing these products together in one integrated product of SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD and SOLIDWORKS Electrical. Give everyone just a few more seconds to respond. Lou, in your experience in the field, how many times were you typically reworking your mechanical designs? I would really like to respond <laughs> many times over and over uh, due to poor pre-planning and some surprises in the, uh, as we did fit up. Great. So here we've got uh, only about 15% of you having no idea, which is great. Uh, but if you combine your two and more than two, you have 60% that are reworking your designs a number of times to include your electrical subsystems. One of the key aspects of integrating a subsystem in, into the 3D CAD model is the, is the ability to work in unison with a variety of engineering disciplines. However, current technologies have thus far been a, unable to provide a truly cross-disciplinary work environment. Existing tools are cumbersome, share data through file transfers, which can result in unsynchronized or unsynchronized or un, unnecessary data right, uh, right from, from the beginning of uh, conception. SolarWorks Electrical is designed to be collaborative right out of the box, which eliminates painful, labor-intensive back annotation between tools. SolarWorks Electrical provides a real-time bidirectional link between the schematic 2D and the 3D model data in a real-time multi-user environment with real-time synchronization of both the electrical and mechanical design data. What is electrical 3D technology that we're talking about? Electrical 3D utilizes SOLIDWORKS routing technologies and advanced relational database technologies to create a fully bi-directional multi-user design platform that enables electrical system integration into the 3D CAD model. This platform includes simple-to-use tools, including schematically driven automated cable, harness and wire routing, advanced wire and cable path design tools, automation of cable and wire segregation, and the ability to add intelligence to electrical conduits and ducts for ease of use. Additionally, through the use of CircuitWorks technology, we can seamlessly bidirectionally integrate ECAD design elements simply and easily. Another key benefit of electrical 3D technology is the ability to auto-route industry standard cable topology such as RF cables, USB cables, Ethernet, and any other standard topology including optical and fiber cables. Electrical 3D technology includes the ability to integrate and associate ribbon cable interconnects and prepare for auto-routing through the included SOLIDWORKS electrical routing interface. SOLIDWORKS Electrical is not limited only to electrical schematics. It can readily produce pneumatic and hydraulic schematics with the included hydraulic and pneumatic interconnect types and symbol libraries. However, if you utilize auto-routing features of SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D for pneumatics and hydraulics, all pneumatic and hydraulic tubes and pipes are treated as hydroelectric wires. Think pneumatic hydraulic wires. 
when routing in 3D. Let's change subjects a little bit here. Let's talk about another interesting subject. Let's talk about electric harness design and development. SolidWorks Electrical provides a unique capability to define electrical interconnects in the schematic and then develop the actual harness design in 3D through the use of our advanced auto route technology. In other words, in situ harness development within the 3D design model. It also provides capability to create all documentation necessary to easily manufacture the cable harness, including scale foam boards and classic detailed drawings. Let's take a quick look at what we have up, on the, what we have up now um, at the design process used for electrical harness design, utilizing SOLIDWORKS Electric Tool Suite. First, we use SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematic to develop the schematics. We develop the system design using SOLIDWORKS CAD with the SOLIDWORKS 3D uh, electrical add-on. Additional, uh, um, additional simulation and testing through optional simulation tools. A link to manufacturing utilizing SOLIDWORKS CAD and electrical 3D. In situ design and flattening for form board and assembly documentation with, with an optional link to SOLIDWORKS Composer for advanced technical and documentation. All of this data is managed by SOLIDWORKS Data Management System, EPDM. Well, now we're going to talk about um, simplification and unification of the bill of material for complex assemblies. This is a, uh, a really um, near and dear topic where you have multiple complex uh, parts in one assembly and how to hook, put them together. Using SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D technology, we show you how we're going to integrate them. And how we do this is uh, achieved through simplification of the design, the ability of our single line and schematic and cable tools, one schematic symbol to represent all parts, one 3D electric part to represent all parts within this pot, and the two are, are interrelated, and one bill of material to show all parts. The next one I'm going to show you is a uh, complex connector from Harding, a uh, Harding connector, and it's a very, very complex connector made out of uh, electrical components where you have the contact pins and the housings. You have a pneumatic component where you have the pneumatic fittings and you have the pneumatic housings. And then we have all the mechanical retention features put together. This is a very complex system where you have the back shell and the retention items and then the, uh, the mechanical miscellaneous mechanical parts. And this is a very complex connector to put together. And right now, the next slide we're going to show you is we're going to show you how we associate all these together. Now, what we start with is we start with a base pot with a bunch of accessory pots, and this is defined in your schematic symbol. The next piece, what we do is I'm going to show you the association, is where we have the connector base, which is associated to the crimp pin, which is associated to the hood or the back shell, then to the E module, the electric modules, then to the P modules, the pneumatic modules, and then all the assembly hardware. This is all associated to the connector base, and it is automatically trans transposed into either the single line or multi line schematic, and then passed through directly to SOLIDWORKS CAD. So it simplifies the complexity of that. So you have one schematic symbol and one, one uh, 3D component to work with, and that's all you have to deal with. And then your bill of materials will represent all that. And what we're going to show right now is uh, an example of um, a bomb simplification or bill of material simplification. Hello, I'm now going to show you some of the other ways that you can use SOLIDWORKS Electrical to integrate your electromechanical design. Uh, currently on screen we have um, a um, basic PC cabinet enclosure and what I want to do is connect up these two fans to the motherboard. So I'm just going to select to insert a female connector, place that on there like so, then choose to route harness, OK on that. This then automatically generates my harness for me, connecting up my devices. Uh, this information is actually coming from SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2D, a single line diagram where I've defined devices and cables interconnecting those devices, um, which is where we're obtaining our FROM2 information from. Now obviously this uh, cabinet is work in progress and I could show you how to flatten route now but um, that's already been covered during the course of this presentation. So what I'd like to do is take a look at some of the other um, options which are available to you within the program such as reporting. Now obviously the fan itself is made up of a number of different components. Those being male and female connector pins, um, there's also a motherboard in here as well, you can see the quantities for each, uh, but one thing which is um, 
glaringly omitted is the fan units themselves. Now they can be added very simply by accessing the properties of one of the devices and searching for a part. So I'll just go for a Siemens part and add that in like so. If I go OK on that we can then see that that information is automatically reflected within the report itself thus giving us um, a breakdown of single components by the accessories which go to make it up and of course this isn't only possible through SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D we could also come into the 2D environment select the other devices which also need a fan applied like so choose to assign parts and we'll just search for the same reference add that in like so um, now I'm going to talk about the key takeaways uh, for mechanical users of uh, electrical 3D technology. Really, the simplification and integration of planning of electrical systems into product through the use of our graphical tools, schematically driven 3D model components, eliminating um, com uh, component type tables, collaboration between engineering disciplines, the ability to create harnesses in situ within the 3D model, Simple, simplification and automation of the electrical routing uh, capabilities, no more uh, connection tables, and the unification of bill of materials. We have one more question for you. Are you ready for electrical 3D? So, you know, we hope that you've enjoyed, you know, what we've shown you today. Uh, Go ahead and answer, are you ready for electrical 3D? We hope that we've shown you how uh, SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D helps you integrate your electrical subsystems into your mechanical designs and helps make your whole uh, mechanical design process easier to deal with uh, your electrical parts. 